Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. As you can see, we've got quite the disaster behind us. We've got an oil spill. Uh, how do we clean it up? Uh, good question. Let's jump in the workbench and let's get started. Okay, now that we're in the workbench, first thing you want to do is you want to grab your centrifuge. And this is it right here. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's actually not that pricey. I think it's about 400 bucks, something like that. I think once you're done with this whole system, you're gonna be spending about four to 5,000 bucks to be able to clean oil, uh, which is not that expensive when you consider uh, what it all does. Uh, from there, we've got our RPS on top. So we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a gearbox. And we want that facing away because we're gonna grab a motor. And for the sake of this, we're just gonna be using a medium motor and this gearbox, we can go ahead and take this and we can crank this all the way up to three to one. Uh, you want to get your centrifuge spinning up to about 30 something, low 30s uh, with your, it says torque, I think it's RPS, uh, it could be mislabeled, but it, it says torque, so you want to get your torque up to about 30, uh, 30 plus, um, and then it'll actually start working, which is uh, not a whole lot of RPS actually when you consider the grand scheme of things. Uh, so over here we've got our, this is our end port, so this is the port that's actually going to be pulling dirty seawater out with mixed with oil off the ocean and this is what's actually going to be pumping it into the system uh so for this we're going to grab ourselves a large pump and we're just going to slap this on right there it doesn't really matter that is our end so let's flip that around it does matter all right so we'll do that just like that it's not gonna be pretty you guys can decorate this however you want and make this look better let's grab ourselves some pipes We'll do that. We'll do this. We'll go straight like that. And then just for the sake of you guys understanding, we'll just we'll just do a long one here. And that'll represent what goes into the water. So we'll get a port like so. And we're now sucking water into our system. Uh, so once it goes into the system, once it's spinning up, it's going to start separating. Uh, so we're going to have two ports here. Uh, we've got a fluid out and we've got a dense fluid out now water is denser than oil so this is where it's going to be ejecting your seawater from now don't get confused because you will sometimes get seawater and oil out of the same port uh this is starting to happen when your centrifuge is not spinning up fast enough before you turn your pumps on uh and we'll we'll uh we'll address that as well here in a second too uh so we're just gonna grab ourselves another port here this is just going to eject water out of here and you know what we can do something even better let's grab ourselves a pump we want maximum flow rate on these things. So this is why we're gonna do these here. We'll do one there and we'll do one straight down like so. All right, so from there, we can grab ourselves a port. This is now ejecting salt water out and back into the world. And then this will bring it down into a, whoops. This will be what goes into your tank. So let's, uh, let's say, let's build a little tank here. All right, we'll just build the sides in. None of this matters, it's just for you guys to understand what, what goes where. All right, so now this is our storage tank. This is what would actually be storing our, our, our cleaned oil, our oil that's been skimmed off the surface. And then from here, what we can actually do is imagine this tank being on your boat or something like that. Uh, we'll come in here and we'll put, a, we'll put a pipe. We'll grab our straight piece here. Uh, and this is just what I've done in testing to kind of help uh, alleviate this problem here. Uh, we'll get a hose. We'll slap that there. You can slap yourself a an, an actual hose on the system here. Let's let's turn this. There we go. And inside we're going to need a pump and we want this to pump out and then we're just going to grab a fluid port. And this is going to allow us that if any water gets into the system, what we can do is grab this hose, hook it up and spray it like a fire hose and actually bleed off that water, leaving the oil intact that's in, uh, in the container. So that is really it. Uh, let's grab ourselves a, a couple switches and toggles. We'll get a toggle. Whoops. We'll add a toggle and a throttle. Our throttle is going to go to our motor and our toggle is going to go to all of our pumps. So what it's doing is it's turning on the main pump, which is allowing water to come in here. And it's also turning on the pumps to evacuate water and oil from us as well. And it's also turning on the pump to spray seawater off of your system um, and it won't be using it unless it's actually activated which is really cool so this is literally all you need to build you a centrifuge cleanup system uh is this right here really cool so let's take this let's uh i've got a boat that i've been working on let's slap this on a boat and see what this looks like and see how well it cleans up look at that oil spill wow okay so here's my new tug i've been working on you can see that i've got my centrifuge set up here on the front uh, let's go ahead and drop down in here. Uh, this is a beginner tug. I do believe parts of this is on the workshop, so you can kind of take this and build it as your own. I've been doing the same to this as well, so it's a little different than what you would see on the workshop, but there is one on the workshop for you guys. Uh, so as you can see, we've got our centrifuge here. 
Uh, it's the same system that we had before. Uh, so we've got a pump coming out. Uh, that is going straight into our storage tank here, which is great. We've got 20,000 liters of storage. We've got our dense fluid out coming out the side here just to into an air filter. You can use whatever you want to pump it out, but I'd like the air filters. It just looks nice on this part. Uh, coming around the other side here, we've got our large pump, which is sucking water from below the boat. Uh, there's a port down there and it's coming straight into our centrifuge separator here. And we've got our gearbox here. The only difference here from what you guys saw is I've got a clutch and I've got this hooked up to our main engines instead of an electric motor. The electric motors just suck so much electricity that it's just a, it's, it's a pain to try to create power to power this thing when I've already got the power. So we're just hooked up straight into the drivetrain of the boat and that's how we get things done. So there's not much else to this. We do have our bleed off lines here. Uh, so this is where we could grab a hose if we do get any salt water in here and we can just spray it all out uh, like so. And I've got a block here. This is our fluid meter just for the sake of this tutorial. I've got it stuck here so we can actually see if we have salt water or oil in our system and or both. So let's go ahead and let's get our boat started and let's see if we can start cleaning up some of this oil before it gets too, uh, too crazy here. All right, so I'm gonna crank the boat up. Let's get our engine started. For this, I'm gonna need all the power I can out of this. I don't need my engines stalling at all. So we're gonna take it up to 10 RPS. That should be good enough for this system here. Both engines, we've got two four cylinder three by threes running this and we should be good. Uh, now, luckily we're sitting in the oil, but if you would have to drive to the oil, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and role play here. Let's say that we're driving around and we're looking for the oil. All right, there we go. We're driving around, we're looking for oil. We've spotted oil on the horizon, let's go. All right, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna turn on our centrifuge. We want that to spin up. We want that, and you can hear, ooh, our engines are adjusting for that. You can see our centrifuge clutch has gotten all the way up here. We'll slow down just a little bit here. And now I'm pretty sure that we are actually spinning up and we are good to go. It takes a few seconds to get that kind of kicking. So let's go ahead and turn our pumps on, and now we are throwing some fluid into the system. And yeah, there we go. We are now sucking in dirty oil from the ocean. Uh, very simple. Uh, let's go ahead and slow the boat down just a little bit more so we can just kind of putt around in this. And let's go down there and let's look at our ports. All right, so we're down in the bottom deck here and you can see that oil is coming in and we got lucky. We didn't get any seawater in the system. So that's great. Uh, we don't have to use our bleed off system here and we're just putting around saving the environment, which is really cool. So yeah, let's see how much we can get. Let's see how long it takes to clean this up. And yeah, let's let's make some money off some oil, I guess. Looks like we're cleaning it. There we go. We're already cleaning it up. Now, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned, uh, if the oil spill here, it's, it cleans itself up. Keep sucking up water. You will continue to get oil after the uh, oil is actually cleaned up. I was doing one yesterday and all the oil was gone and I was still sucking oil into the system. So that is a good thing. You can make quite a bit of cash off this if you were to just keep going and actually find this just laying around. Um, there we go. We're all cleaned up. 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000. Uh, this was quite the big oil spill. Uh, but we, we rocked it. We've got this cleaned up. And you can see how fast one system will clean up a large area. Uh, and I do know if you are using the electric motors, you could probably put two centrifuges together uh, and you would still be able to spin those up. But honestly, do you need two centrifuges? I don't think you do. I think you just need one large tank and one centrifuge with a couple pumps on it. Uh, so yeah, guys, that is that is a tutorial on how to mess with the centrifuge and how to get oil cleaned up in the world. Uh, if you did enjoy this series, make sure you throw a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I've got plenty of tutorials to come for you guys and yeah uh thanks a lot uh that is how you clean up oil in the world and we'll see you soon